everyone. My name is Hector Mendoza. Today we're going to be covering how to create doors and windows in Xactimate. And I'm going to show you a little bit of some of the shortcuts. So, I got my, uh, first of all, here is my email address if you want to ask me some questions or would like for me to show you something in, in greater detail. So let me get down to it. Okay, so I got myself some notes. Uh, so, you know, you always want to save. There's a, anytime you work in Xactimate, it has auto save, but uh, it's always best to either, you see this little button right here? If you click on this, you can't see it, but it saves. Another button that people use, especially when you've quit, you got your save and exit button right here. And the one I always use is control S. And that automatically saves everything. Okay, so that's one little thing I wanted to uh, tell you. Okay, so, um, so when you're creating a room, creating a room, I'm going to show you the pull down menus first and then thereafter it's going to be commands. So I'll show you one time on where to find this stuff. So if you click here on room, you're going to select a room, you're going to left click, it's going to load the room, you see how I'm hovering around the canvas here. I'm going to click once and that's going to place the room there, right? That's one way of doing it. Okay, so let's do it a different uh, way. I'm going to left click the room again, hover. This time I'm going to click and drag to the dimensions I want. Okay, that's the uh, third way, second way, or you can just hit R for rooms and, and do the same thing. Click once, you know, left click, or, excuse me, or you can hit R, click, drag. So there's two ways of doing that. Okay, now that you've done that, basically we're going to concentrate on windows and doors. And so, um, so I'm going to create a room and <clears throat> I'm going to show you first how to do, how to load windows and doors. Okay, so if I go to my uh, doorway, I can select the kind of door I want, you know, basically let's say a standard. So I click, it's going to give me a two six door because that's what the preferences are set. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to doorway, go to standard. This time I'm going to click and drag. And it created a door. Now, another way is I'm going to hit D and click. So, and, and D is the one I'll always use. So, uh, a few little tricks on, on the uh, doors is, so let me hit control Z a couple of times, get rid of what I have put in there. So, this time I'm going to select D. The first one I'm going to put is just a regular door. Now, watch what happens if I hit D and I left click, go, you see my, my mouse uh, right in this little area right here? You see those numbers? Okay, I'm going to go to four one okay you see how it created a double door so now let's go hit door again this time i'm going to go to eight one so if i click down two six uh eight one uh one 
what it does it, it gave me an overhead door so when you're creating this stuff it, you can really create doors real real quick okay so uh control z control z okay so there's a couple there's a few you know ways of uh adding doors same thing with windows okay so you know we're gonna uh it takes me a while when i have to use pull down menus because I, I don't use them so you okay so here's my windows i'm gonna left click and then i am going to click okay and it's going to give me my standard doors you know whatever it's set on the preferences and we're going to go over that so uh the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to hit w for what well, i know but let, let me continue with this okay so now if you're using pull downs if you click window this time i'm going to click and drag you see how i can change the size of the window okay so now same thing here i'm gonna hit w for window click you know i'm left clicking right on the wall okay so same thing i'm gonna hit w and then i am gonna click and drag to the uh, dimensions I want okay so now okay so I can go in and hit either by loading it or by hitting W holding my control key I'm holding my control key and all I'm gonna do is be clicking. Okay, so let's say I want a window here. I want to oh, uh, uh, yeah. okay. So control V. Uh, okay, so window control. I'm gonna click in between the walls. Click, click, click. I'm <clears throat> Wherever I put it, it is going to center that window where my my, uh, my selection is. Okay. You see, everywhere I'm putting windows. And that's real helpful when you're drawing a big house. So, now you only have five undos in Xactimate. So, you can only go undo 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 five times okay so same thing uh same thing with doors we're gonna go either go down by the pull down a uh, pull down hit control first you're gonna hit door then you're gonna hit control and put doors now watch this if i remember what i was talking about four one oh i'm not even gonna try to get accurate so that way i can continue faster so it's above four one double doors right above eight one overhead door now i can still continue to go and put standard doors okay so those commands are real real nice okay so now let me show you some other stuff and then so you see the door is loaded on my mouse you see it has the little square uh plus and the uh, d okay so if you hit escape it deselects it now let me show you some other little tricks and i uh what i'm gonna do is let me delete this and i'm and i'll show you why this is so important so I'm just going to create a little room, okay? And then um, I'm going to uh, select a few doors and windows. Okay, so let me 
just add uh, some doors okay and then then I'm gonna escape hit W for Windows and I'm gonna hit my control key it won't let me you see how it didn't let me select that because there's not enough room look I can click and drag and then try and, and alter it later same thing here if I click not going to do nothing right but I can go ahead and put a little window and add and uh, modify it look at this one right here barely okay so now I'm going to escape so I'm going to I'm going to show you something let's say I'm, I'm doing all this and you see this thing right here um, so let, let me do something okay so I'll do it this way look so you see that right there if I had to select that that little window there look, look how hard well right now is selecting it sometimes it's real hard to select then I can go into my preferences and change it so let me try to so now watch this oh man normally it's not that easy sometimes you have a lot of problems selecting it uh, okay so but I'm going to show you and explain why I like doing some other things okay so now we're going to delete everything and go to doors this time I'm going to hit window I'm going to click now I'm going to hit control enter tap tap that way I can change the size of the uh, the width of the window or let's say I want to change the base height and then I want to change the height see oops hit tab okay and you hit enter that command has helped me a lot when I'm drawing some things so uh, for instance let's say you, you, you're drawing something like this right and uh, I'm going to go here create a room and I'm not even going to try to get accurate uh, this is just so I can show you all some why it's really easy to use commands so I'm going to use a break tool. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hit my control key. I'm going to create that break room, break, control, space bar, so I can move my uh, canvas, select, hold control key to make a new room. And I'm going to show you what later on what I'm, I'm doing. Uh, right now, I, I'm just done trying to... Uh, create some rooms and um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna so watch this I don't think it's gonna let me put a door right here it might but I'm gonna try it okay so first door it let me now look you see the hinges you see the background how the hinges are wrong the, the the way the door opens it's okay but the way the hinges open are wrong now it really doesn't matter unless if you're anal okay and unfortunately I'm anal so okay so when you're thinking about moving hinges there's a few few ways of doing it right here you see how I can flip horizontal or I can flip vertical or I can click right here and actually I can't okay so right here is where you're gonna flip uh, horizontal or or vertical now that's not how I do it the way I do it is let me show you something here whenever you are okay so uh, here let me see oh, before before I continue okay so 
you always want to save. Especially, I mean, if you get up to go drink some coffee, if you get up to uh, to do whatever, always save. And I'm going to show you the pull downs, then I'll show you the easy way. Okay, first of all, right here. Um, so I'm going to draw an arrow so y'all can see. Right. Oh, it's not going to let me point because that's a. Okay, so. Um, Right here, looks like a little uh, disc, floppy. When you click there, you don't see anything, but trust me, it saves it, and I'll prove it to you. I'm going to close. I'm going to go to Xactimate. I'm going to open up that same uh, file. Oh, that's the, not, not the right file, so let's go back. Uh, um let me see which one it is actually i was putting it down okay so a bit uh, yeah here it is okay so there it is now at the end you definitely if you're going to save this you definitely want to click right here on this side where it says save and exit okay so now let me see the notes that that uh, that I have that I was going to show you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to save this file. Okay, so this right here we went over. So I can delete that. Um, we talked about, uh, let me see, brooms that we, you know, click and drag. I've talked about that. Now, before we continue, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So when you create rooms, and especially about what I'm about to show you, okay, so the preferences are set by either by, um, uh, they're going to be set by, what is it called? Uh, I got to, uh, let me see. Set preferences, select window here. Uh, well, okay, so by profile or by that individual document, and then and, and, and let me go over that. So I'm going to show you two different ways. So let's go to Xactimate. Okay, so first of all, I close that one guy. Uh, don't need to change. Okay, so. Um, So you have a, <clears throat> if you go into your control center, there's this thing called right underneath control preferences. Okay. And you see this carriers right here, right here. Uh, it has profile carrier. So let's say <clears throat> farmers, let's say, or, uh, E-insurance, this, you know, Hartford, Allstate. You see how that, that stuff just changed? Because each carrier has their own preferences. And those preferences can be changed. So, so if I go into um, doors and windows, because that's what we're talking about, I can change the width every time that I go to Windows, select Windows and hit, you know, left click and hit it, it's going to put this preferences like the width, the height, the base height that's from the bottom of the floor to the beginning of the window. It'll display your checkered and all this other stuff that has here. It, it, some people deduct areas for painting, some of them don't. Uh, let's say that. Every time you click on it, instead of hitting the standard, you want it to be a bay, box, a bowl, bow, uh, if you want it to be a picture, hung, and so on, okay? So once you set those preferences, every time you open up an all-state um, uh, claim, Every time you draw a window, it's going to do it exactly like you see it here. 
for all the all state or whatever preference you use. Okay, so remember that's gonna affect every document. Now let me show you a diff a different thing you can do. I keep on uh, being clumsy today. I keep on closing that uh, that file. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so I have a shortcut, and I got so many passwords. I, I need to have shortcuts for my passwords. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to show you a different way. So Anytime I'm recording, it slows my machine down. This is really a fast machine. It's just when I'm recording, it, uh, it, it uses a lot of megabytes. To do a video like this, I'm going to take about 2.4 gigabytes of data just to record this. Okay, so now, right now, remember when I draw a, a window, um, so you see how that window looks so if that's because I'm using a carrier uh, profile now so now my windows to this house are all the same okay so I could actually go in. So this is what this is what my windows look like, right? You see that? Okay. So let's say that. Uh, uh, well, first let's draw this whole uh, this whole well, not the whole thing, but just a, a few rooms. Okay. Um, so then I have this little guy right here, and oh, that's my closet. So uh, then to make it uh, real fast and simple, I'm just going to go in and you see what it's doing. So the best thing to do is just click here, snap right there, go right here. And that's the last room I'm going to. And you see how it automatically at the bottom, how it angled it. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for right now. So now, so this guy goes like this, it extends right there. So we're going to go in here and um, I'm going to put some double doors right here. And I'm not going to. Uh, Okay, so um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it, okay, just so I can show you some stuff. Same thing, control C, control V. Control C, control V. See, I copied that same one. Okay, so I'm going to put me a door. Now, so here... Remember what I, what, what, what I was telling you earlier? So watch what I'm going to do. It's a tight space. So let's say that that was just a, oh, actually it is, it's a, no, it's a two six. So let's say it was a two, two, uh, two foot door. So I'm going to click, control, enter, tap, tab, and hit to enter. Okay. So. Uh, then I'll place myself a door here. Uh, okay, now, and unfortunately, everything's coming in the way it's supposed to, but, okay, so this door here, up and down is good because the door is facing the right way, right? But sideways, the the hinges are on the wrong side. So if I, all I got to do is hit my left bracket and that changes it. 
I got a video that just explains about brackets and changing uh, the size because that, that's a pretty, it looks easy, just like this one right here. You see, all I'm going to do is hit that button, but it is confusing when you're dealing with the left and right bracket. Yeah, and and it's it's easier said than done, but uh, I know my kind of man's pretty good. So now, so let, let's say that right now my preferences were set different. Now I'm gonna set them different so so we can can see uh, the 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 difference. So I'm gonna go into my preferences. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put a grid, and I want. Uh, uh, let me see window. Oh, no, I don't want a grid. No, forget that. Okay, on my uh, windows. Okay, so on my windows, I'm just going to do a two by two by two, and I want it to display uh, a grid. Okay, so what's this? Now, what I drew before, it does, uh, do I have any windows there? No. So if I would have drawn any windows, it wouldn't change that. It's just from right now. Whatever I draw, it's going to change it. So watch this. So I'm going to hit window, my control key, do, you know, do a few windows, and I'll randomly put them in there. So uh, I'm going to escape, hit 3D so you can see what those windows look like. You see that? Okay. So now I'm going to go in and at this point right now, anything that I draw a window is going to change, you know, it's going to put that unless if I, unless if I go in and go to my tools and manually change, you know, like for instance, let's say I say I want a bay window or, or whatever, box window, whatever I want. Okay, so my house it all uses the same windows. Uh, let me see what those uh, settings are. So I'm gonna go to Xactimate. Hey, it don't matter. I, I, I'll just pick a random, and you, you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, so again, we're gonna go to Options. We're gonna go to Preferences, and this is only gonna affect this document. We're gonna go to Doors and Windows. Uh, I think I have two two feet four inch and then they're four feet tall and uh, there are one inch one foot eight inch from the bottom and I do not have a grid okay so I'm gonna hit okay now now we're gonna go in here I'm gonna hit window I'm gonna hit my control key that's I had a window here 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 window here window here man that I would have a lot of windows okay so now 3d see the difference I took the grid out it's not a two by two it doesn't start two inches from the bottom it charges it starts at uh, one feet eight inch from the bottom and if you click on this right here you can see the sizes so you know um, if you enlarge it See, it's a two four, four feet, one feet eight inch from the bottom. It's six feet five inches from the left, and it's three feet three inches from the first wall, and so on. So, um, another way to view in this, and I'm going to explain why this two D is so important. So, you see this wall right here. See that wall? I want to see it as a one D, right? I'm going to hit my two key. I'm going to click there. Now, if I click here, that's going to show me the outside of the window of the house. This is going to show me the inside of the house. And that's basically what you're looking at. So let's go back to 1D uh, where I have uh, multiple kinds of windows, 2D. Uh, you see, you got that. Here's the width of the window. Here's the height of the window. From here to here is one feet seven inches. From this corner all the way down here is seven feet. Now you see how I don't have no dimensions. If I hit Shift M for measurements, 
Oh, it's because I have to set it in, in, in a different uh, location. But you you could just select all of it, and then it'll give you the measurements. Let's go back to uh, 1D. You see my grid back here? You see how I purposely set my uh, my uh, profile to have a grid in the back? All, if you want to get rid of it, let me show you the hard way, which is uh let me see i gotta find it okay so because I'm, I'm i'm i don't use i use commands so let me show you the fit, best way shift g for grid somewhere up there is probably let me see i'll find it for you options guys somewhere <laughs> I, I i don't know anyway Somewhere in all those screens, there's a way to take. Oh, I think it's down here. Excuse me. So if you go to view, um, there it is. You see grid shift. You see how it has that little grid. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me see if I enlarge it. In, in my on my screen, there's a bunch of little dots there. You probably can't see it, but anyway, so. I like to remove it out of there because a lot of times when you're drawing, it's going to snap to that grid. Okay, so um, let me look at my notes, see what I was going to uh, teach. Okay, so go to preferences. Uh, I showed you about the 1D, 2D, and 3D. Uh, 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 so let's go back and uh, okay, so. Right now, you see how there's no labels on my my uh, my rooms. If I hit Shift L, that'll give me the labels. Shift M is going to give me the measurements, and um, and those commands or how to view the rooms and labels are right in here. Okay. There's measurements, and somewhere in here, there's uh, I'm looking for an L. Okay, so we got measurements, uh, and see, I, that's why I don't like doing it this way, because man, it it slows you down. So labels are right there. Okay, so now another thing. Let mo usually your you. Uh, it's probably gonna look. Let me see. Uh, so you see how that looks. You know your rooms. You know it's like this right here. It's taking up the whole room. And once you start drawing, man, this thing's gonna get out, uh, get in your way. So if you go to your font. Labeling, I like to keep mine like at eight, and then on my measurements, I do the same thing eight because you know, when you enlarge to those rooms, you'll know what room it is, and you can see the labels, and you, and you can change those at any time. So, uh, okay, so let me go back to my so I've talked about that. Okay, so another thing, you see this room right here. If I hold my control key, see how I copied? It copied everything. It copied the windows, it copied the room. Well, it renames the room, but it everything is exactly the same. And all I did was just hold my control key and drag that room. Another thing you can do is you can click here. Uh, somewhere up here, there's going to be a uh a command that says control c and i'm not even going to look for it so but uh, uh, so if you hit control c for copy then let's go down here and i hit control v it'll paste it okay so uh there's always more than one way to skin a cat okay let me show you another cool trick so let's say and I wasn't going to get into rooms. This is a, a whole different uh, uh, little 
videos that I have, but I do want to show you something real quick. So this is one layer, this is another layer, this is another layer, this is another layer. Now, I want to go to the second floor, okay? And I want everything that I see here, I want it on the second floor. Of course, you can hit Control C, you go down here, hit Control V. You do have an image that you can try to snap and line it up to it, and it might not go in perfect. So let me show you the easiest and fastest way. You see right here, and they don't have commands on this one, so this is this is good. Uh, so if you are in an upper layer, or it doesn't even matter because it all depends how, what you select right here. Okay, so, but if I go in here, go to Tools, I'm going to click Copy from under Lay. Now I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm I'm going to do every other room so I can show you. So I'll skip uh, that one and that one. Whoa. And give it to me. Uh, I don't know what's doing that, but anyway. So now we only selected a few of them, right? So I'm going to hit 3D. Okay. I'm going to show all the layers. Now look. See, remember, we only selected cer certain ones. Isn't that cool? I use it a lot. Especially when you got stairways and uh, and and we you'll we'll get into stairways and all that stuff at a later time. So uh, that was just some ways of copying things. Okay, so let's see what else I have. Uh, I'm trying to make this a small, a short video. Click, okay, copy from the bottom of uh, resizing rooms. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> so you got to be careful when you're sizing. Okay, so you see, these are my resizing handles right here. This square one and this di diamond do two different things. So be real careful. So uh, you know you can click and drag and you see this this thing right here look you see you can do it that way or you can just let's say 19 feet now be careful the, when you're pulling this thing you see this little diamond it's not you see what it does so don't <clears throat> don't use that one to resize it now let me show you uh, another trick that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so I have I have all of these items, right? Or I can just do one. Let me, first, I'll do one just so you can s see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna select this, right? I'm gonna go to my uh, Options. I am going to maybe it's under tools. Okay, so I am going to. Oh, it doesn't do it in here. It does it in. Uh, uh, let me see if, if I select the bunch of. Okay, so basically, let me show you what what I was going to show you. So let's say that I that I have a a, a roof. And let, let me just go in here. Control V. Uh, make a gable there. Hit another Control B and put a gable there. And that gable I want it uh, to be. Uh, no, that's I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so I got this roof. I want it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna select. This select. I'm going to select it. Now I have this scale option, right? So right now, from here to here, 
is 1910. But I want that to be 30 feet. Watch what happens. 30. Everything is going to enlarge. You see that? Control Z. And then uh, uh, Xactimate doesn't have a redo, but it enlarges everything. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work with the rooms. Okay, so let me see what other little tricks I got here. I talked about that. Um, combined rooms. Okay, so so whenever you have closets, so like this one here is a closet, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to show you the quick way. So I select both of them, Shift, Control, C. You see how that closet now has a, a one next to it? So when you start estimating and you select this room here, it, it's going to select, you know, it's going to select both of them, okay? Um, because they're combined. This closet is A sub room of room A. You see right here where it says sub uh, is grouped with room number one. It's part of that right there. Okay, so um, so I'm going to hit Control Z. Now you see it doesn't have a, a, a parenthesis one next to it. So the way most people would do it is they would select both of them, right click, and combine rooms. So you combine it. Now it has a one. It indicates it's a part of this room here. Okay. Now, now if I wanna un, I wanna separate them. You select both of them. You can hit Shift Control S, and it's gonna ask you. You gonna separate the room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. You see, it no longer has that. Let me hit Control Z. You can right click and and select right click and oh yeah separate um, and it's going to ask you again do you really want to separate yes you do okay so that's how you separate rooms okay so uh, I, I don't want to get into rooms right now, but I, I am going over a little bit of this stuff. Okay, so uh, uh, combine the rooms. I did that. I did that. Okay. I wish I wouldn't have got into all this uh, rooms because that's not what I'm teaching today, but I do got notes. Okay, so if you want to arch a wall, and the reason I am showing you this because we're about to do this. So, uh, so right now, if I, so if I have a 3D, you see, it's a flat plane, right? If I click here, and I can hit Shift Enter, and then you see this arch wall, I can, I can select here, or I can do the easy way. You know, I just have to put Y for yes and hit Enter. Now you don't see no change, but look at. Look now, and then you got to be careful when you're se selecting this wall because look, when you select it, all of a sudden now you get yourself an arch wall. So, um, you know, so now, <laughs> you know, when you're dragging this, you're not changing the size of the window, you're dragging the, 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 uh, the arch. Okay, so. That's how you do arch windows. Uh, let me look at my notes. Uh, ceilings. Okay, so um, there's no command on, on ceilings as far as I know. Okay, so see, if we go to 3D, and let me do something real quick here, so uh, that way why it's important. So this time we're gonna make this a Peak, uh, then and that's okay. And then this one here will make it a um, a slope. 
Okay, so you hit F3. See right here? You can see that right there. You can see that peak there. Now, you can't see, uh, you don't see no ceilings there, right? Okay, so if you, now you do have to be on 3D to use this command right here. So you see this view? You see how right in here, ceilings and surface is grayed out? You cannot select that until you go to 3D, okay? Then you go view, all of a sudden, your ceiling and surfaces are selectable. And now you can see your ceilings, okay? So back to 1D, uh, it doesn't matter if you leave that there, so, because it's not gonna affect it. Well, yeah, it, it uh, No, it's okay. So, um, so let's see what else I got here. And, okay, so we talked about that. Talked about how to create windows. Uh, windows. Okay, I, 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 you know, we talked about that. Go to preferences. We talked about preference. Uh, re, uh, preferences. We talked about resizing windows. Uh, we talked about uh, swinging hinges. Uh, okay. So, if we talk about 3D and 2D, okay, so when you have a room, and this is where it's going to be real, real important. So, let me open up a, uh, a file that, <clears throat> okay, so this is a, a big old house. One of my customers that I do a lot of work for all the time. Uh, she's been a customer for over 10, 15 years. Um, so you see, you see there right there? This house, oh, it's not gonna let me do that where I want to be. Oh yeah, I did, okay. See this house here? You see those doors, uh, excuse me, windows? Those windows there. The only way you can stack windows on top of each other is by 2D. That's the, well, uh, there's probably other ways. The only way I know how. Okay, so let's go to uh, 1D. And basically, what you would have to do is, uh, let me select a, a, a window that doesn't have anything so you can see. So watch if i hit well i'm going to select 3d so you can see this whole thing okay the house you see how it has some weird stuff going on in there okay so i want to see this wall and the windows i'm going to hit 2d and i want to see the exterior look there's no windows okay now i'm going to select this one right here 2d and look at those windows now when you're in this view you really got to know what you're doing here. And I'm not going to go over too much. Actually, I will actually draw this for you and, and show you the, some of the difficulties in, 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 in drawing this. So let me, uh, let me delete that guy, 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 delete that guy. Okay, so the, the, the first thing I'm going to draw is uh, <clears throat> the bottom one. So I'm gonna hit W for window. I know I can go up, up there, right? Here in 2D, you don't have points that you can uh, manipulate. The only way you can manipulate this thing here is by clicking here. So let's say that my width, well, I'm looking at my sketch, uh, when I went and drew the house. So it was seven feet, seven inches, the width of it. The base height was one feet, six inches. The height of it, okay, so you see, I have limitations on 
what I can put in this thing, okay? It's because I have rectangular, rectangle set. Now this is a diamond. I can create a diamond window from this. So if I click here and I select a trapezoid, you know, you can do an arch window. You see how it looks. You can do a round window. You can do several. Now, what I need is a trapezoid. I could do it with a triangle too. If I, let me, uh, I think I can still do it. No, it doesn't give me enough uh, uh, options what I want. Okay, so we're going to have to use trapezoid. Okay, so uh, my width is 7, 7. My base height is uh, one, uh, one feet six inches. Okay, side A. Side A uh, would be zero. Actually, it's the opposite way. So let's go. We'll hit zero there, and the <clears throat> the uh, B side will be uh, seven comma seven. You see. And the only way you can do this is by means of there's no I can't I can't go in here and put points and move them around. So you got to know how to manipulate it. So now on uh, to the other side of this, I have another window. OK, so I'm going to click W and I'm going to click and drag because that thing probably wouldn't have fit in there if I would have done it the other way. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to select trapezoid. And on, on this trapezoid, um, so on the width, it's going to be 2 feet 3 inches. The base height uh, is 1 feet 6 inches. So I can line it up with the other one. Uh, deduct windows, trapezoid. OK, side. OK, so. Side uh, A, I'm going to say is 2, and side B is 11. Oops. Okay. Side. Okay. Side. Th you know, this thing kind of gets a little crazy. Okay. Uh, 8, comma 2. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what you know but the thing is okay this one's okay this one's okay it's the other one that's that's wrong so let, 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 let me see let me make sure my, my measurements are right 11 1 6 2 3 okay so this guy here this this thing should be lined up not lined up but this one should be almost as tall as this one okay so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have to go in here and switch the uh, the A and B. So uh, that's going to be seven comma seven tab zero tab. Now you see how that that's how they're supposed to be. So if you go into your uh, picture, you'll notice. You see, you got a diamond, and then it goes over to the other one. This particular diamond, you cannot put, you, uh, you can put the same size and remove it from the walls, but you won't be able to position exactly where it goes because you cannot do angles or yeah, like 45, uh, 22 degree angles. You can't do that in 2D. So, um, so we'll put that one later, but we do have, so I'm going to hit window. Okay. You see how... It wouldn't let me do in if I try to place that window. You see the, the round uh, circle with a slash. That means I can't place one in there, but I can click and drag. But you see right here, it doesn't let me go in further because that uh, triangle. This is part. All of this right here is part of it. See from here, if I go, it's part of it. So I'm just gonna go there. I'm going to click, click here. Uh, so I'm going to change this to a 
round, okay? And now my options have changed. All it'll give me is the width. Uh, so this is a three by, and then it's gonna give me the base height. I'm gonna leave the base height alone uh, and three, okay? Makes it a, a perfect circle. Okay, so, so that circle would be like this, and then there's another two in circle next to it. So now I got most of my settings, control C, control V, double click here. You see, that's why I don't, you see, I'm double, double click and nothing happens. But if I hit um, control enter, you see, I don't, I, I, it, it's real easy to go to, to your preferences because sometimes you can select and select and, and try four or five times. But man, every time you hit control enter, boom, it's real easy. So uh, the width is two height. You see how it's changing to an oblong until I change the other one, it, it changes. Okay, so now control C, control V, double click. Uh, I don't know why I do that because I, I know I don't like it. So one, one, enter. You see, when, when you do the commands, things get real easy. So, and, and, See, well, let me do that because of that square that's there. So, um, what I'm talking about is that square right there. You see, right in here, this, it considers this, that window. It's not gonna let me go any, 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 anything further than, oh, right, right there. Okay, so, and we just make it look a little fancy here. Okay, so we have one more that I can't put inside here because of uh, angles. So what I did, all, all we're concerned is just removing that from the equation of doing the texture and the painting and everything in the in, in the, an Xactimate. So I'm gonna do one less window. And so I'm gonna hit W and I'm just gonna just, do a little one. Uh, I'm gonna hit Control Enter, Tap Tap. My width is nine comma four. Um, okay, so when you get this window here, I'm glad this happened. When you get this window here, it's because you see I put uh, the width. Uh, it didn't like my width. Okay, so if you still want to see what you have in the background, all you have to do is click here and click right there. If you don't, it's not going to go back to this window here. Okay, so um, so for right now, let, let, let me see what's going on here. So I'm going to go, I know the width has to be 9.4. I must have typed something wrong because it's, it's let me do 9.4. So 9.4 and uh, so shift enter. So the width is okay, the base height's okay. The height on one end is gonna be four comma four. Okay, and then, okay, so again, I can't make it into a triangle, you know why? Because I need to select trapezoid. Now it gives me more options. So uh, this right here, I want it to be zero. And there you go. Now you can move this guy around. Okay. So now that gives it the right deductions from the windows. So now, go to 1D, and I'm back to my, uh, oops, gate, 3D, and that's what we just drew. You see, it's taking it out from the back, and you, you see how, you see how uh, it has a grid? It's because the preferences are set that when I draw new windows, 
it will go in and put a grid okay uh i don't it's no big deal i hate the way they look oh i i, I know why i don't like them uh for when i when i'm drawing um uh so so let, wait, first let, let, let me show you a few other things before i get into that and because i do have a note that i'm going to show you okay so uh and you'll see why i don't like grits okay so let's go back to my notes uh we talked about uh that on 2d you have options so let's go back to the 2d um 2d okay so if i select my preferences and I select uh, other than um, okay yeah uh, if you select other than round if with round I don't have all my options because you see all I got is width base height height that's it but when you select trapezoid trapezoid now you got width you got base height you got uh side a and side b so keep that in mind okay okay so i talked about that let me delete that what else we got i talked about that yeah insert windows by using uh you pull down yeah we talked about that we talked about that uh, we talk two ways of uh, your uh, preferences. You know, I talked about uh, yeah, talked about that creating doors, um, you know, about click and drag in, about resizing. Um, okay, so I think that's everything has to to do with uh, windows. I've kind of gone over, but now I'm gonna show. Let me see how long I've been uh, recording because I don't want to make this thing real, real uh, long right now. I've been recording for, uh, whew, wow, one hour. No, i got to stop this thing. I I'll show you some other stuff. Um, okay, so in some other videos, we're going to talk about sunken rooms. Uh, so I'm going to make, right after this one, I'm going to make another re video about actually rooms. And I'm not going to discuss too much about windows. And uh, there's some real cool stuff. So let me cut this video off because it's a long video. Uh, so I am going to stop.